Christy, Salty Stitcher. It is uh, floss tube number 10. It is July 15th, 2021. And this is a channel about cross stitch. Uh, as you can see, my mom, my sister won't be joining me today. Um, so it should be a quick one. I plan to uh, go through some of my whips uh, and some of my new designs and some plans and a few announcements. Um, so welcome again. I'm glad you're back. Uh, thank you so much to my new subscribers. Uh, new subscribers and um, uh, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, to have you watching my videos. Uh, let's see, it's been two weeks since my last video. As you know, uh, my mom and dad were in town and uh, we just had a blast exploring uh, Los Angeles, uh, watching floss tube videos. My mom, as you know, is an avid uh, cross stitcher. And then she recently just took up punch needles. So we spent a lot of time watching Vana's videos on uh, her punch needle series, learning how to punch needle and uh, just doing all of, all of those things. Uh, so it was a fun two weeks, a lot of stitching, a lot of floss tube. Uh, and I have a big announcement uh, I was uh, selected to uh, attend Needlework Expo uh, this uh, year, this year, this August, end of August. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's a vir virtual needlework show, um, three days in August. Uh, new designers, old designers, any designer for that matter, will uh, show their new patterns uh, for the year. And if you want one of those new patterns, uh, all you have to do is contact your local needle workshop uh, and they will place an order for you. Um, so I'm thrilled to be joining Needlework Expo this year. I have, uh, I think it's roughly six designs uh, that I wanna show. And over the next couple of weeks, I'll be showing some uh, sneak peeks uh, in the Needlework Expo Instagram page. Um, and if you're watching my video today, you're in luck, you get to see uh, my progress on stitching some of those patterns. You get to see uh, the pattern itself. And um, I'm just so excited to, to be able to A, participate and B, uh, show you um, sneak peeks of, of what you're going to see in the next couple of weeks. Um, so the last couple of weeks have just been uh, filled with, again, floss tube stitching um, and, and just planning uh, putting a plan out there for Needlework Expo. Anyway, okay. Um, so like I mentioned, I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTube videos. Uh, a couple of them that I've watched that uh, if you uh, are new to floss tube, you should really check them out. Uh, Chris Crossstitch, um, I thoroughly enjoy his videos and I have to say he's got the best background uh, in the business. Uh, so if you want to see his floss tubes, his patterns that he's stitching, uh, which are wonderful, uh, go ahead and check him out on uh, Chris Cross Stitch. Uh, I've watched Pam and Steph, obviously love their videos. Um, Darcy Cameron, Stitch Man. I just love his full coverage uh, pieces that he does. They're always so whimsical. Uh, they're nice. I can't believe the progress that he makes on all of them. Let's see a few more. Teresa Little Stitcher. Uh, Nisi Lynn, Sunshine Stitchers, Michelle Bendy, Minnie Gray. And uh, if you have not checked out a new designer, Holly uh, from Stitchy Pros, uh, she has a few, uh, she has um, one floss tube and a few new patterns uh, in her shop. They're absolutely beautiful. And uh, please check her out because they're, they're, they're just great. Uh, so I don't have any new finishes this week. Um, I think I mentioned last week that I took Under the Sea to the Framers, and I should have it uh, should have it back next week to show you the fully finished uh, project, uh, fully finished object. But uh, in the meantime, uh, you did see a um, a picture of it at the beginning of the video. That is the uh, computer rendition, I believe. Um, uh, I'll try and put an actual picture in maybe at the end. Um, I did stitch it with the optional beads uh, that you can add to embellish the pattern. Yeah, so I'm excited about that one. That, that one's awesome. 
Um, I have a few new starts. I know you're shocked. And um, one new design that I would love to show you. Uh, oh, so guys. So everyone gives me a hard time. Everyone in my family gives me a hard time about how many whips I have at any given time. Uh, I think I probably have close to 10 whips now. Um, but guys, my mom now has three whips. I, I have her working on three designs at once. She has her dash hound project. She has her punch needle. And she is trying her hand on stitching on black Ada for the first time. Beautiful flowers. Um, hopefully I can get her on next week to show you her works in progress, but she swore she would only work on one thing at a time. And guess what, guys? She's got now three. Ah, so excited. She's branching out into punch needle. So much fun. Okay. So back to the regularly scheduled program here. Uh, so the first uh, new start, um, and one of my Needlework Expo, Expo projects. Uh, we'll start off, where to go? Oh no, I thought I had it perfectly organized. Hold please. Let's see, it's paused. Okay, I am back. Okay, first, first new design, it is the Persian marriage rug. Uh, so when my husband went to Afghanistan, um, when he came back, he shipped me, shipped me a rug. Actually, it, it was kind of funny because I wasn't able to talk to him all the time, but I did get a phone call from an international number. I happened to answer this phone call, never do that, but I thought maybe it was him. And it was from a shop in Afghanistan, um, asking me to send him $1,100 and I don't know about you, but I almost hung up on the poor man because there's just no way I'm sending anyone, uh, sending wiring money for $1,100 out of the country. Um, so I almost hung up on the poor man, but something told me not to. And come to find out, my husband bought me a Persian marriage rug, an Afghanistan mar marriage rug. Uh, so the tradition in, uh, in Afghanistan is a family will stitch a rug and sometimes it's a new new prayer rug sometimes it's a family heirloom and they'll have two pieces and they're separate pieces but once uh, the couple is married they stitch those two separate pieces uh, together and it forms forms their union and uh, forms the the marriage rug that they typically keep in their family for generations um, this is this is what it looks like. Um, I have since changed the font, so this is not a perfect current picture or rendition, but I've since changed the font there. I, I wasn't happy with it. Uh, but I am in the middle of test stitching this pattern. And I'm inspired by the actual rug that my husband sent me. Um, I did end up sending the $1,100 um, via Western Union. And lo and behold, a rug showed up a number of weeks later. Uh, so this is the Persian marriage rug design, partially stitched. Um, I have these wonderful... Wonderful DMC colors. Just these nice teal colors. I think this is DMC 816, one of my one of my favorite reds. I don't know if this is showing up well. One of my favorite reds. And then you have the optional. I think I said eight, yeah, 816. And then you have the optional uh, DMC Etoli. E e I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it, it is a nice shiny thread. Um, optional, of course, but if you want to make um, some of the pattern pop just a little bit, um, it's available, available to stitch a nice yellow, blue. So just 
I don't know if I can hold this up. Just gorgeous, gorgeous colors, nice and bright. Um, just very beautiful, very beautiful pattern. Um, would be good for uh, an engagement, a wedding announcement, um, or maybe an anniversary piece if you're into that. Uh, and I plan to stitch my name, my husband's name at the bottom, the date that we were married um, and the location. Uh, so that was the Persian, Persian marriage rug. And let's see, our next one. Um, so this is the, what I call island walkabout. This pattern is based on a trip that my husband and I took to the big island before he moved to Australia. Uh, it has a lot of the um, Hawaiian motifs in it. You can see the palm trees, the hibiscus, flip-flops, a pineapple, a wood carving, a tortuga, ukulele, some lays, and some Hawaiian petroglyphs. So uh, we took a tour of Volcanoes National Park, and this signifies the volcanoes and then chain of craters road that ends at the sea arch. So if you've never been to uh, the big island, I really encourage you to go there. It's such a wonderful island, and it was a really fun uh, place to go hiking and see an active lava pool, um, which I was uh, so impressed by. Uh, so this is Island Walkabout. And this is the progress I have made so far. So I have one of the ocean motifs, the palm tree, the hibiscus, and the pineapple. So I need to get cracking on this um, prior to Needlework Expo. Really fun pattern. I'm stitching this one on a uh, 40 count linen. It's kind of a sand color. And I'm using Weeks Dye Works threads. And these are just absolutely gorgeous uh, Weeks Dye Works threads. Some of them more variegated, some more variegated than others. It's just a, it's just a really um, uh, fun pattern. Yeah, fun pattern to do. I'll just stick with that. Okay, the next, the next uh, whip, well, it's not a whip. This is um, one of my new designs. I have not started yet. I plan to though, on some 28 count uh, even weave is We the People. I know I'm a little late on the patriotic um, side of the house. Um, this pattern was, in my store, uh, but it was the rustic version and had a lot of tans and, and mauves and some pinks, uh, more like a teal blue. Um, I slightly changed the pattern. I wanted to brighten it up, brighten up the colors, um, have a much bolder red. And this is We the People based on the preamble to the Constitution. You can hear, you can see some of the words are written in the stripes. I'm planning to stitch this with classic color works, um, antique lace, Cupid, and blacksmith blue. Uh, that, that Cupid floss is just amazing. I had a bunch of it in my stash. I was originally gonna stitch a big red ship of life with it, but I decided to go with um, some silks for that one. So Cupid gets to, uh, to go and we the people, which I know a little late for, um, for July 4th, but this is just a fantastic one uh, to have in your stash, maybe, maybe for next year. It's, I should really tell you how big these things are. So We the People, um, designed to be stitched uh, three threads of DMC over one thread, 14 count Ada. Um, option would be two threads of any over dyed floss over two threads of 28 count even weave, which is what I plan to stitch it on. 
Uh, the finished size is 14 inches by 9.6, stitch count 196 by 134. Um, and there are three, three DMC or three classic color works colors. And then I was thinking, and let me know how you feel about this in the comments. I was thinking about stitching or blending this. Yeah. Diamond, it's a real shiny silver thread. And I was thinking about blending that in for the stars to make it sparkle just a little bit, just a, a an optional embellishment if um, you're into that sort of thing. So I should have some progress on this. I wanna test those colors to make sure um, they look nice. Uh, and that is We The People. Okay, now I'm so excited. We're up to uh, one of my favorite ones. Uh, and this is uh, called Maya Angelou. This is based off of my favorite Maya Angelou quote. She was, uh, a fabulous poet um, and just a wonderful person overall. This is Maya Angelou and the quote is, at the end of the day, people won't remember what you said or did. They will remember how you made them feel. Uh, and I just love this quote. Um, I feel like it's part of my philosophy on life and I probably could not have said it any better than that. So this is Maya. She will be two, uh, two threads of floss over uh, two threads, 32 count even weave. Stitch count is 170 by 120. And I'm stitching it right now on Fortnite Fabrics Anemone. Uh, it's 32 count even weave. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, six gentle art threads and uh, one DMC uh, for some for some back stitches in it, and these are just gorgeous colors. I really like how they're popping off the page. Um, some classic color works: Buckeye Scarlet, another favorite red of mine; Pine, some Lagoon, some Harvest Moon, and Country Redwood. Again, just beautiful colors. And this is where I am on, on Maya. Again, you can see the beautiful Fortnite fabric, uh, anemone, it has a nice um, pinkish uh, tinge to it, some modeling, it's, it's gorgeous. And, and there's the first page of, of Maya. I just love how this is coming out. Um, and then another optional embellishment on, on this pattern is option to add some red beads, uh, some red Mill Hill seed beads into each heart. So I have one, two, I have about six hearts on here and there's a spot to add some beads in there, which I will be, which I will be adding in. So again, uh, just another um, little touch to embellish the, uh, to embellish the pattern a little bit. Um, I really love stitching uh, Maya, and um, I should be able to show you a little bit more next week. Okay, so again, um, this is a sneak peek. Uh, most of those patterns, if not all of them, will be at the Needlework Expo, on the Needlework Expo site, and if you're interested in any of those patterns, please um, notify your local Needlework shop so they can place, um, place the order. Okay. So I have an idea for a punch needle pattern. Um, my mom brought her punch needle kit. We watched uh, some of Anna's videos, like I mentioned earlier. And I don't know, I kind of got the bug for, for that. Um, on the last trip to Hawaii, uh, it, was on, it was on the big island. I took, this, took a picture of probably the biggest bird of paradise I've ever seen. No lie, this bird of paradise was this big and this tall. Um, I put a picture of the bird of paradise in at the beginning of the video. Um, I think it would be absolutely beautiful as a punch needle, uh, uh, punch needle pattern. So I have some variegated DMC floss um, that, are, that are in the appropriate colors for the bird of paradise. 
I bought some, I think it's called weaver's cloth, which uh, I heard uh, is good for punch needle. And all I have to do now is transfer uh, the pattern onto the cloth, which will be just a new experience for me, but I'm willing to give it a shot and get stitching on that. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, probably won't be starting that for a couple weeks uh, as I wanna get a little bit of headway uh, made towards some of the other patterns ahead of the uh, Needlework Expo. And I have a new design. So this one I'm very excited about. I think I'm excited about all of my designs, but this one I'm particularly excited about. So I was scrolling uh, through Facebook and I came across this wonderful underwater picture of a jellyfish. It was taken at night by a photographer in the Maldives. And uh, her name was listed. I contacted her on Facebook Messenger and received permission to uh, use her picture in one of my designs uh, and place it on my website. So I was really excited when, when she replied and had no problem with me using her picture. Uh, so today I just finished that design and I'm calling it jellyfish. And this picture does not do it justice. It absolutely pops off the page uh, on a black background. Uh, I will insert the actual picture I inserted it at the beginning of this video. Hopefully you um, saw it. If not, just go back and take a look at it because it is probably the prettiest picture uh, that I've ever seen. And this is my first time contacting an artist, uh, in this case, a photographer uh, for permission. And I was just really happy that she uh, trusted me enough to, to make this pattern and, and put it on my website. Um, the jellyfish, it's a full coverage piece. Uh, I tried to get rid of a lot of the black background. Um, so, <laughs> cause I think the pattern had 70,000, originally 70,000 black stitches and I can't think of anything worse to do. Um, so I got rid of most of the black uh, in the background and uh, charted it on black fabric. It pops out and um, I think it's a manageable pattern uh, stitched on 25 or 28 count over one. Uh, it's, it's not too big, it's not too huge. Um, finish size on 28 count even weave over one would be nine inches by 13.4. And the stitch count is 260 by 376. So um, very manageable pattern, um, just a gorgeous pinks, reds, purples, blues. Um, gosh, what could, what else would you want in a pattern like that? Yeah, so um, I'm pretty excited um, about this. It does have 91 uh, DMC colors and uh, probably to get the most of it, you'd want to stitch it on some black Ada or black even weave. Um, and if you're very ambitious, some black linen, good luck with that. I don't know about that, but anyway, nine, 91 colors. I reduced um, the number of, I started off with 220 colors and I was able to reduce them enough um, without losing any of the uh, beautiful colors and got it down to 91. So this is Jellyfish. Um, I am going to start uh, test stitching this in the next uh, few weeks. And this should be on my website soon for PDF, PDF download. Um, everything on my site is a PDF download. Uh, and I, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before, but they're all compatible with Pattern Keeper. So if you are a Pattern Keeper stitcher, um, all of my PDFs on Salty Stitcher Designs are compatible with, um, with Pattern Keeper. And let's see. Yeah, and Jellyfish will be um, no exception uh, to that. Um, also, they're all PDF downloads. So if you prefer paper charts, um, just shoot me a message uh, or shoot me an email. And I'm happy to um, print and send the pattern to you uh, for a small extra fee just to pay for the costs um, of supplies. Um, but if you're someone who really loves um, 
paper patterns on some nice paper in a bag. Um, yeah, just message me and I'm happy to print them out uh, and send them to you just for a little bit extra. Okay, that is jellyfish. Okay, so that um, brings me to my final announcement. Um, and this is the segment that I call the charity of the month. Uh, so each month I select a charity uh, to donate a portion of all of my sales and donations uh, to. Uh, last month, that charity was the Coast Guard Mutual Assistance. Um, and I just received a note from the director. Uh, today was just pretty exciting, thanking, thanking me for, um, thanking me for uh, my donation and um, your donation. Uh, so that was pretty fun. Uh, in July, however, my um, charity is Feeding America. Um, I've told the story uh, before, first week of July, when I, uh, during the last uh, Floss 2 video. Um, but over the pandemic, I, I just saw the homeless population in and around Los Angeles uh, increase uh, steadily over the course of last year. And I can't imagine that all of, all of um, uh, these poor people are uh, eating three meals a day. And they probably don't know where their next meal is going to come from. So I chose Feeding America uh, because it's an organization that assists families with um, providing uh, high quality meals um, on a regular basis. And uh, yeah, I think I, I know that this is uh, an organization um, uh, that I would love to uh, donate your hard earned money to, my hard earned money to. Um, so just know that a portion of all of my sales, all of any donation that you uh, provide to me will go to Feeding America for the entire uh, month of July. Um, I did add a buy me a coffee link uh, to my website and it'll also be down below. Uh, you are under absolutely no obligation uh, to donate any money to me, but just know if you do, um, it goes to framing, uh, my projects, it go, all of it goes back into the business. And again, a portion of it will go to uh, the charity of the month. And this month that is Feeding America. So I think that's it for this week. Um, I'm hoping to make it back uh, next week. I may have my sister with me. I may have my mom. I may have both of them. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, you want to see a little bit more about my stitching, um, my sister's beating, my mom's punch needle, um, please hit the su subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when a new video comes up. Um, I'll try to get one up once a week. Uh, yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week. Bye.